Okay, let's prepare a statement of net position for the City of Southern Springs as of April 30th, 2017. And you can see on the screen, they've given us information that we need to put on the statement of net position. Now, with governmental accounting, you understand that a statement of net position is quite similar to a balance sheet. So we're going to present it as of a single point in time. And they've given us cash information and receivable information, inventories, capital assets, some liability information, and some net position information. Now, they've also broken out some of these into government activities and business type activities. And as an example, we see that inventories, uh, there's only business type activities and hopefully that makes sense because it would be a business type activity of the city that would have inventory but not a, a, a governmental activity. Okay now I'm going to tackle this in two screens so we'll sort of go back and forth a few times. Alright so we have to prepare the title right the name of the uh, government entity the name of the financial statement then the date that we're preparing uh, the financial statement. In this case, it's just a single date, right? Because it's much like a balance sheet. It's a snapshot in time. And with government financial statements, um, where we're preparing a statement of net position, we have two columns, one for government activities and one for business type activities in a total. And then from there, we just drop in the information. So. They gave us cash of three million eight hundred and forty thousand and eight seventy eight thousand for governmental activities and business type activities, respectfully. So if I slide this down, shrink this up a little bit, we see the cash amount, and then we can drop in receivables and the inventories as well. So let me slide this out of the way. We drop in the receivables and the inventory. There was also a capital asset amount. Let's go back and look at that. Right, so there's our capital asset for government and business. There's the amounts right there to the left of my mouse. And when we put those in, and then all we need to do is total down and total across, and we've completed the assets. All right, we're going to do the same thing for the liabilities. Uh, they've given us accounts payable and non-current liabilities. So if we drop those in, um, we drop them in the correct columns, total across, total down. And then we get to net position, all right? Net position, they've given us the net investment and in capital assets and restrictions, restricted assets. Now, when we're preparing a financial statement, a, uh, a statement of net position for a, a city, you know, for a government agency, we also have to separate what's restricted from what's not restricted. Okay, so if you were to drop that information provided, you would just get this amount here. And by the way, let's do a little bit of math here. Let me uh, just show you the formula here. I am doing this in Excel. So if I take 15069 minus 6091, what am I doing? Well, I'm taking the total assets minus the total liabilities. So what that tells me is that we're going to have to have a total down here of total net position of 8978. Now, I did that in thousands of dollars, okay? So, what that means is we're not quite done. If you were to add up that information, and, and uh, you'll see that we're missing one other piece of information, and that piece of information is the unrestricted. So, you're going to have to do a little math to determine what the unrestricted net position is, okay? And that's all there is to this exercise.